Welcome back to our YouTube channel Cat Camster. Today we will design this butterfly valve assembly in SolidWorks 2018. We will sketch each and every component of this assembly and at last we will assemble it. And I am going to use this 2D drawing. You can see. I am going to use this drawing to create our parts and assemblies. This is the bomb which is known as bill of materials. You can see it consists of seven parts body which is this one and shaft which is this in inside and the third part to retainer is this plate and the fourth part arm is this rod and the part number five is the plate which is this plate inside part number six is this nut and part number seven is this screw now we will sketch each and every component step by step with the help of the 2d drawings and at last we will assemble all our components so before getting started if you haven't subscribed our youtube channel subscribe our youtube channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notifications of our latest videos now let me go through the first part which is this body this is our first part this is the first angle projection drawing you might know the first angle projection symbol is like this this one and this one this is the symbol of the first angle projection so this will be the front view and this is the top view and this is the section view along this axis a a dash a if we cut our part from along this axis in downward direction and view from right to left you can we will get this type of view all these dimensions which are mentioned in the drawing are in millimeters so let's get started first we will create this part and next we will create other parts and after that we will proceed to the next parts Now we will create our part number one which is body. This is a drawing of our part number one. All these dimensions which are shown in this drawing are in millimeters. So make sure you are working under millimeter gram second system. And this is as this is the front first angle projection drawing. So it is obvious that this view is the front view and this one is the top view. And this one here to the left is the section view along this axis A dash A. So first we will create this outer dia of 280 millimeters. Then we will extrude it up to a distance of 225 mm. And after that we will sketch this profile, these three profiles. And their thickness is 32 millimeters. So let, let's get started. Select file, select new, select here part, click here OK. Now let me change background to plain white. and select here millimeter gram second now select here front plane select normal to and click here sketch now select circle command snap this origin point as a center now create one circle now select smart dimension select the circle this will be 280 mm as per the drawing this dimension this one outer one of, of this circle its die as 280 which is this one now we have we will extrude it up to a distance of 225 mm now go to feature select here extrude boss space now select here mid plane enter the value of 225 mm now click here ok now select this face click here normal to and sketch now select here center line create one vertical center line like this now we will sketch these profiles let me zoom in with a bit now from center its length will be 175 up to here 
this distance 175 so select a smart dimension select this line enter the value of 175 now select a circle command create two circles selecting this point as a center like this now we have to specify the dimension you can see the dimensions of these two circles are 100 mm dia because the radius is 5 mm 50 mm sorry and the inner one is of dia 47 so enter the value select smart dimension select this inner one enter the value of 47 select this outer one enter the value of 100 like this now select line command now select this one and create a line up to here again select line command select this one and create a line up to here now select the circle edge and select here convert entities now select here trim entities trim this portion this one this one and this one sorry looks like the dimensions are deleted no problem i will select it now it is fully defined Now in the next step, we will extrude it up to a distance of 32 millimeters. Now go to feature, select here extrude boss base, select this in inside region and enter the value of 32 mm. Direction will be will be downward. Reverse this direction because the whole distance is 225 in which the thickness is included. So it will be downward. Now click here OK. Now select here circular pattern. Now it is asking for the feature. Select this feature. It automatically identifies the feature which is boss extrude 2. Now quantities will be 3. Enter the value of 3. Angle will be 360 degrees. Select here equal spacing. Now select this box and specify the direction or access this one like this now you can see the preview now click here ok now select here front plane which is exactly at the middle now select here mirror and expand this tree and select here circular pattern now click here ok now you can see now select this top plane normal to and now select this top plane click here normal to now we want this plane you can see make sure you don't check here right plane because the extrude is normal to this vertical contour make sure this is exactly on the opposite side of this right angle now you can see only top plane will do the job now select here normal to now top plane and sketch now select a circle command snap this origin point as a center and create one circle now go to small dimension select this circle and its dia will be 200 mm as per the drawing here it is mentioned the outer one is of 200 and the inner one are of 156 point now its extrude distance will be from center we have created this as a center so from center it is 160 millimeters thick now go to features Select here extrude boss space. Now direction will be opposite and distance will be 160 mm like this. Now again select here top plane normal to two times so that it is or you can simply select this face as a normal but select here top plane while sketching select here sketch now select here circle command again create one circle again now select a smart dimension select this circle 
and enter the value of 75 mm like this. Now this is the diameter of this circle on the other half and its distance from the center line axis will be 325 minus 160. This 175 is up to this edge, don't get confused. So from up to this, we want up to this edge. So this will be total which is from here to this one, it is 325 which is here subtracted by 160. So go to features, select extrude boss base, direction will be, yeah this is the direction we want. Now select enter the value of 325 minus 160, it will automatically subtract. You can see 165 mm, now click here OK. Now we will create this counter bore hole of distance 320 depth sorry 310 mm depth for that we will use here legacy hole now select here legacy hole wizard and select here legacy hole in legacy hole type will be counter board now specify the dimension double click on this value this will be 56.2 all these dimensions will be by default because it has taken the earlier values when I have created it so this dia will be this one or you can say this dia and depth will be from total depth from here to this head which is 310 mm and counter board dia is a dia at this region or major dia which is 100 mm and counter board depth will be 25 you can see now select here blind go to position select here 3d sketch and hover over this face cursor move your cursor over this edge you can see it will show the center of this face snap this center you can see now click here you can see it is not up to this whole edge because in this drawing it is there is a, some thickness on the other edge the hole is not open so click here ok now you can see this hole is not up to this let me show you by the section view so let me select this now you can see there is a material as we wanted as per the drawing now in the next step we will make it hollow now select this phase select your normal tool and a sketch now select circle command Select this origin point as a center, create one circle and its dia will be this one 194. Select a smart dimension, select this one, enter the value of 194, click here OK. Now select here, go to feature, select here extrude cut. Now select here, through all. Now click here OK. You can see this is our required part, part number one. Now one more thing we have to do is create these three holes on this face. Now for that select this face, click here normal tool and sketch. Now select your center line, create one vertical center line like this. Now the bolt circuit dia is 150. So select circle command. Sorry, select circle command, snap this point, create one circle. Now select smart dimension, select this circle, dimension will be 150 dia. Now snap, drag this point up to this circle and right select the circle right click and make it as a construction circle now select circle snap this point and create one circle and its dia will be 20.3 mm and the depth will be 15 mm select a smart dimension select the circle enter the value of 20.3 like this now select here circular pattern and 
entities will be number of entities will be three you select a equal spacing now it is asking for the center center will be this one and entities will be this circle now you can see the preview now click here okay now go to feature select here extrude cut now cut depth will be 15 mm as per the drawing Uh, looks like by mistake I exited that command. Now again select here extrude cut, enter the value of 15 mm. Now click here. Okay. The depth is 15 mm. Now our part is completed. Now let me add some appearances to it. Now save this part. This is our part number one wall body or body. Now in the next step we will create our next part which is part number 2 shaft. Now in the next step we will create our part number 2 which is this shaft you can see. We will create this shaft. This is our part number 2. So let's go to the SOLIDWORKS screen. Now select here file select here new select part click here ok now let me change background to plain white and select here millimeter gram second system so that because all the dimensions are in millimeter now this is the front view and this is the top view select here front plane normal to and select here sketch now select circle command create one circle now the dimension of this circle will be 37.5 mm and the extrude distance will be 28.9 if you want to create it by the extrude you can create it by the extrude or if you want to create it by the revolve so let's just create it by revolve, it will save us some time. Now first select here center line, create one center line like this horizontal. Now we have to specify its length. Now select here line command. Now we have to create this profile, half profile, above half or the lower half. For that, create one now close this sketch. Now I will add some constraint. Select this point, hold down the control key and select this point, make them horizontal. Now select a smart dimension. Select this edge and this center line. This will be the overall dia is 56. Sorry, is 37.5. So the half will be its dimension. This will be 37.5 divided by 2, which is 18.75. Now this distance will be 28.9. Select this one this will be 28.9 and this distance is 89.80 select this edge this will be 89.80 like this drag it like this 
now this will be 24 select this edge and the remaining will be 193.8 plus 38.2 plus 15 this one plus 193.8 plus 38.2 so select this edge this will be 193.8 which is this distance plus 38.2 plus 15.1 plus 38.2 plus sorry 38.2 plus 15.1 now click here ok this will be 247.1 now the dia is 87.2 here so select this edge and this one sorry select a smart dimension select this edge and this one this will be 87.2 divided by 2 87.2 divided by 2 like this now this dia will be 56 mm select this edge and this edge this will be 56 mm so 56 divided by 2 now go to feature select a revolve wall space it is showing because this center line is the or revolving axis is the construction line that is why it is showing now click here yes now click here ok now you can see now we have to create chamfer on this end of 3 mm for that select here drop down click here chamfer now select this one select here angle distance chamfer and enter the value of 3 mm and angle will be 45 degree now click here ok now select this top plane and normal to now sketch select here line command now we have to create this cutout now create profile and close this sketch now select a smart dimension from here up to this edge this will be 15.1 mm this will be 15.1 and to the value of 15.1 and the depth will be 31.1 so select this edge this will be 31.1 and its length will be 193.8 from here to here this cutout length is 193.8 select this edge this will be 193.8 like this now click here ok now go to features select here extrude cut now select here through wall both now click here ok now you can see this is the required cut now we have to create two holes of this face for that select this face normal to let me drag it like this now select here sketch now select circle command create here two circles now select first circle hold down the control key select this other circle and make them equal now select the center of the first circle select the hold down the control key select this center of the other circle now select this origin point and make these three horizontal now select a smart dimension now you can see the dia is 12.5 or 12 and a half mm and the depth is 10 mm so select this circle dia will be 12.5 and the center to center distance is 100 mm select this center and this center this will be 100 mm and from this edge
it is 46.9 mm so select drag it like this now select this edge and this one this is 46.9 from this edge to this center line enter the value of 46.9 sorry edit it enter the value of 46.9 like this now go to features select here extrude cut and the cut depth will be 10 mm enter the value of 10 mm direction will be downward you can see the preview now click here ok now you can see the preview final this is our part number two is this shaft in the next step we will create our part number three which is retainer but before that let me add some appearance to this part select here steel select here brushed steel now save this part part number two shaft This is our part number two shaft. In the next step, we will create part number three retainer. Now we will create our part number three, which is this retainer. This is the drawing of, of our part number three. First, we will create these circles 200 mm, 56 mm dia, and these 20.3 dia three circles on a 150 BCD. Here BCD means bold circle dia which is this construction circle. So select here file select new select part click here ok. Now let me change background to plain white here millimeter gram second. Now select front plane click here normal to and sketch. Now select circle command create three circles like this. Now the outer one is of 200 mm, 56 mm and 150 mm. Now outer one is of 200. This will be of 150. And the third one is of 56 mm which is here. Now sell right click on this 150 mm dia circle and click here construction circle now select here construction line snap this point and create one vertical line up to this construction circle like this you can see the dia will be 20.3 select circle command snap this point create one circle now select a smart dimension select this circle enter the value of 20.3 mm now select here circular pattern entities enter the value of 3 the angle will be 360 degree and select here entities to pattern this entity now it will automatically snap this center point as a rotation if not select this center point as this direction now click here ok now go to features, select here extrude boss base. Now we have to specify the thickness. Now select here mid plane. I want the extrude from the mid plane and the thickness is here 25 millimeters. Enter the value of 25. Now click here OK. Now you can see this is our part number 3 retainer. Now I will add some appearance. Now select here sand blasted iron like this. Now save this part. This is our part number three retainer. Click here save. Now in the next step we will create our next part which is part number four arm. Now we will create our next part which is part number 4, this arm. 
you can see this is the top view and this is the section view along this mid axis AA, A A. So first we will create this profile. You can either create these two profiles at a time and create extrude them up to a thickness of 62 and a half. After that create this mid profile or you can create this whole profile at a time at one time as a single this complete profile but while extruding you will select these two regions at a time at of distance 62 and a half and in the next step create select this region inside region to create the thickness of 25 mm let me show you how you can do this now select here file select here new now select here part click here ok now select background to plain white and select here millimeter gram second now select here top plane click here normal to now select here sketch now select here construction line center line create one horizontal center line like this now exit now the length of this line is here 300 mm select the smart dimension select this line enter the value of 300 mm now select circle command create two concentric circles at this end using this origin as a center now this other end as a center create here also two circles which are concentric now here the dimensions will be 112 and a half the outer one and the inner one is of radius 28.5 so select this outer one 112 and a half and the outer one is of radius 28.5 so select this circle enter the value of 28.5 multiplied by 2 use the asterisk sorry star as a multiplication symbol you can see it does the mathematical calculations now here the dimensions are 87 and a half Select this outer one, its dia will be 87.50 and the inner one is of dia 43 and a point 8. Sorry, 43.80. Select this inner one, its dia will be 43.80. Now select your line command, create one line which is tangent to these two snap this and snap here you can see the tangent symbol is showing and alongside with considering symbol now press the escape key now same as here select any point here and any point here but make sure you don't touch this one like this this is our required profile now go to features select here extrude boss space now select this time I will select only these two profiles and select here mid plane. From mid plane the thickness is 62.5 enter the value of 62.5 mm like this. Now click here OK. Now you can see now click on this arrow and select this sketch and click here show. Now you can see the sketch. Now again select here extrude command. Select this sketch. Now uncheck this thin feature and go to selected control box and select here clear, clear section. Now select these two regions. You can see the preview. Now select here mid plane and the thickness will be 25 mm so enter the value of 25 mm like this now click here ok now i will hide this sketch now you can see with only single sketch you can create both the you need not to sketch separately now in the next step we will create these fillets of 5 mm on the bigger end and the two and a half mm and the smaller one here so select a fillet enter the value of 5 mm now select this edge and this edge now click here ok again select fillet 
enter the value of 2.5 mm, 2.5 mm. Now select this edge and this edge. Now click here OK. You can see. This is our part number 4, arm. Now let me add some appearance to it. Select your steel, select your brush steel. Now click here save this part, which is part number 4, arm. Now in the next step we will create our next part which is part number 5 this plate actually this plate is an elliptical plate with major and minor, minor axis length are given below this one is the major length divided by 2 and this one is the sorry this one is the minor length and the 102.5 is the half of the major length. Now we will create our part number 5 which is this elliptical plate. You can see these distances are the major and minor axis length divided by 2. So we will select here ellipse command to make this. For that select here file, select here new, select part, click here ok. Now select background to plain white, select here millimeter gram second. Now select here sketch. Select here front plane to sketch. Now select here ellipse command. Snap this point as a center. Create one ellipse like this. Now you can see these four points. Now select this point and this point and make them vertical. The other two will be automatically in the horizontal relationship. Now you can see. Now we have to specify the distance. Now select a smart dimension, you can see from here this point to the center it is 96.9 so select this point, this center, this will be 96.9 and this vertical distance is 102.5, select this point and this point, this will be 102.5 like this. Now select center line create one center line like this select circle command create two circles like this now select center of first circle hold down the shift sorry control key and select the center of other circle and make them vertical sorry horizontal now select first circle hold down the control key select the other and make them equal now Select a smart dimension. The die of these two circles are 12.5. So select this one, enter the value of 12.5 like this. Now their center to center distance is 100. So select the center and the center, this will be 100. And from this origin, each one of them will be 50 mm apart. Select origin and this, any of these centers and enter the value of 50 mm like this. Now this is our plate. Now its thickness is 6 mm. So we will extrude it up to a thickness of 6 mm. Now go to features, select here extrude wash space, select here mid plane, enter the value of 6 mm. Now click here OK. Now this is our part plate. Now I will add some appearance. You can see textures. Now we will save this part. Is it? It is our part number five plate. Save this part. Part number five plate. Now click here save. Now in the next step we will create our part number six, which is this nut. Now we will create our next part which is part number 6, this nut, this is the front view and this is the top view. 
now first we will start from this top view and create this hexagon now select front file select here new select part click here ok now select background to plain white and select here millimeter gram second now select here sketch select front plane to sketch now select here hexagon or polygon sides select here 6 and create one hexagon like this now select this point hold down the control key and select this point make them horizontal like this now from this edge to this edge this is 69 mm so select smart dimension select these two edges this will be 69 so 69 mm now select your circle command create one circle and its dia will be 37 mm select a smart dimension select this circle enter the value of 36 mm now its thickness is 25 mm now go to features select here extrude boss space select here mid plane thickness is 25 so enter the value of 25 now click here ok now we have to create this 60 degree cutout for that select this face click here normal to and sketch select here circle snap this point as a center create one circle now select this edge of the circle hold down the control key and select this edge and make them tangent now go to features select a extrude cut now select a flip side cut now select here draft angle will be 60 degree select here throw all now click here ok you can see this is the draft cut this is our part nut now I will save this part this is our part number 6 nut and the next step we will create our next part which is part number 7 this is screw now we will create our next part which is part number 7 this is screw you can see we will create only half profile the other half we will mirror now select file select here new select part click here ok now let me change background to plain white and select here millimeter gram second system now go to sketch select here front plane to sketch now select here center line create one center line up to here a vertical center line now its dimension will be 38 plus this radius of 15 mm so 38 plus 15 select smart dimension enter the value of 38 plus 15 which is 53 now select here three point arc select this point and this point and create out like this now select this point hold down the control key select this construction line and make them coincident now select this point and hold down the control key select this point make them horizontal now select line command now go to smart dimension select this arc this radius will be 15 mm and from here to here it is 38 mm select this one this will be 38 now we have to define its dia which is 20 so this will be half or you can 
define it by 20 also just drag it here on the other side like this now we will use the evolve wall space command before that select this line right click and uncheck this construction geometry otherwise it will show open geometry now select revolve wall space select this axis of revolution now click here over here you can see now select this front plane again normal to and sketch now we have to make this cut out on through all this head of this screw for that we will sketch this profile before that select here convert entities and select this one arc now select here center line create one center line up to here now select a line command create one profile make sure these two lines are parallel and vertical now select this line hold down the control key select this one and this one and make them concentric select from here or here concentric sorry symmetric instead of concentric we will symmetry them now you can see the gap is 4 mm select a smart dimension select these two this will be 4 mm and from this edge it is 3 mm this is 3 mm from this edge now go to features select here extrude cut now uncheck this thin feature expand this selected control section now select this region and this region you can see now select here through all both and click here ok you can see in this way we can create our part number 7 screw now we'll add some appearance to it this is our part now save this part part number 7 screw now click here save now this is our part number 7 in the next step we will assemble all of our components in the assembly mode now we will assemble all our components which we have created earlier in the assembly mode of the SOLIDWORKS now for that let me open select file select here new select this assembly mode click here ok now let me cancel this now select background to plain white select a millimeter gram second now select a insert component first we will insert our this body now select here rotate component and rotate this body uh, you need not to select this you can simply use the mouse wheel to rotate it like this now select insert component select this shaft or first I will select this retainer now select this inside surface click here mate now select this inside surface of this cutout make them concentric using concentric mate now click here ok now you can see it can still rotate so one more concentric relation between these two holes select these two internal holes make them concentric click here ok and you can see now we have to make these inside faces select these two faces and make them coincident using coincident mate click here ok now exit this mate command now select insert component again now insert this shaft like this now again select insert component this time insert this
plate part number 5 now select this inside surface select here mate select this inside surface of this hole make them concentric click here ok now again select this inside surface and this inside surface of the hole make them concentric click here ok now select this face and this face make them coincident click here ok now exit this mate command now go to select again insert component now this time select this arm now select this inside face click here mate select this inside surface of the hole now click here ok make them concentric now select this face and this face make them coincident click here ok now select this outside surface and this surface make them coincident now select here flip mate alignment because the direction will be reverse you can see make them concentric click here ok now select this face and this surface make them coincident click here ok now you can see when we will rotate this shaft our inside plate will rotate which will restrict and allow the flow of the fluid through the wall body but you can see these two parts which is arm and the shaft move separately but they do not move along for that we will add one mate select here mate now scroll down here select expand this mechanical mate section and select here universal joint now select this surface and this surface now click here ok now click on this cross icon now i have added the universal mate now you can see when i will rotate this our shaft will also rotate this is due to the universal mate which i have provided between these two components shaft and the arm now select insert component we will insert the nut now select this inside surface click here mate select this surface uh, let me escape this first move it like here now select this inside surface click here mate select this surface make them concentric click here ok now select this face and this face make them coincident click here ok now exit this mate command now again insert component now insert this screw like this Now select this outside surface, click here mate. Now select this surface, select here flip mate alignment. Now click here ok, now select this face and this face. Make them coincident like this. Now click here ok. Now escape this command. Now right click on this and select here copy with mates. Now click on this arrow, it will ask for the concentric relation with this hole and the face will be the same so click here repeat now click here ok now again concentric relation with this one now click here select a repeat because the coincident with this face previous face now click here ok now click escape this copy with mates now you can see we have assembled our butterfly wall if you like this video please like this video and subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon so that you 
get all the notifications of our latest video thank you